Hello everybody, um, I will do this as a live stream because it's easier. Um, I will do a video for this uh, later on, uh, but right now I will just make a short video on how to fix the uh, Nimebot G30 firmware uh, upgrade um, uh, that will limit your uh, G30 to 20 kilometers an hour and uh, also limit um, the usage of uh, custom firmware so you are blocked from either changing the serial number you use custom firmware uh, or unlock your speed limit so i have tried different firmwares i have tried different programs scooter hacking xio flasher nothing is working uh, so uh, when i got to work uh, I tried to ST-Link the controller and after that I could uh, uh, use custom firmware again. So the solution for this problem is uh, to ST-Link uh, this the G30 controller uh, and then downgrade it and just delete the app after that because uh, after that you can't... Uh, if you upgrade again you have to ST-Link it again. So how do we ST-Link uh, a G30 controller? I have a video about it uh, in my YouTube channel. And uh, let's see. There you go. Here's the video. This is for a uh, D model. So we have two different models. One model is uh, with, uh, I can show you one model is with one um, capacitor and you have one model with three capacitors here's a model with three capacitors so it's two different models controllers as you can see here's three capacitors here's one so in the picture that i show you now is with three capacitors and here you have how to solder the ST link so you have to remove remove it from the board and you have the ST link connection back here uh, how to remove it you can see it in the video that I have made on my channel uh, let's see if I can scroll down so you can see it uh, there you go so here's the video you can check it out but if you have a regular controller that have one capacitor then you have the ST-Link connection here so they are right here as you can see three dots I don't know if you can see it well they are here and um, for the 5 volt, so you have a connection here, the last pin of this, last pin is 5 volt, so I have 5 volt here, GND, uh, 3 o'clock, and uh, um, 3 adoy. So when you connect it to ST-Link, you can uh, see my video on how to do it uh, on YouTube. I will make a full tutorial. Uh, tutorial uh, on a regular controller then you can uh, downgrade the firmware uh, the firmware upgrade so here's the video uh, you have already found my channel but it's Verksta for Elspark Cyclar Batsnab AB um, so yeah just so so you know there is a fix for this issue if you can't ST-Link or don't have the experience you can come in to us or send your controller to us just um, email us or uh, um, uh, make a message on Facebook we have all information on our web page whatsnub.sc uh, and uh, we can help you out uh, if you send the controller make it uh, or if you live in Stockholm uh, then you can come here uh, 
um yeah so this is it uh, i just want to make a quick one just so you know uh that there is a um there is a, a solution for this problem uh and but yeah you have to do it the hard way uh, to uh, unlock the scooter um yeah so so i i have tried different firmwares nothing is working if you have uh upgraded so um yeah hi from Gothenburg. hi hi i see uh yeah uh super danny nice to hear that i helped you before so yeah just so you know so if you accidentally uh upgrade to the firmware here's the solution you have to st link it uh there is a lot of videos on youtube on it um i have a video how to do it on a g30d controller with three capacitor the process is the same for for the regular but the the connections is on the upside instead of the downside so the good part if you have this controller is that you just have to open up here and, and yeah so yeah just a quick one be before i start working uh hope this will help you and uh, if you have any questions uh, don't you can just email us or contact us uh, by facebook thank you very much don't forget to subscribe like our video spread the information uh, i will try to uh, share this on uh, different facebook pages okay thank you bye